Welcome to your UA Light Celestial Insight. Hello, dear Cancers. So the theme of your message this month is co-creating beauty in chaos, okay? The stars in the cards indicate that there may be a focus on two kinds of scenarios for the Cancer Collective this month, okay? Um, a focus on decisions and details related to money, career, leadership, travel, foreigners, and education and writing, and um, the colleague and, and workplace dynamics in these scenarios are sectors this month, particularly carefully considering options and responses to change, right, and long-term professional, monetary, or reputational effects of any decisions, right? And then also there's this focus on decisions and details related to how career colleagues, travel, and education may be affecting home and family dynamics or daily routines or even family planning for some of you and even vice versa, right? Where it's like family planning may then be affecting career, et cetera, right? And so this month, you know, we're in retrograde season, experiencing eight planets retrograde, including Mercury, while it is exalted in Virgo in your third house. And so while certain circumstances uh, may create change, worry, or anxiety, where careful consideration and planning is advised, Mercury is in its home sign, right, in the third house, which is a really powerful position, right? While we also have the Rainmaker and the Outcomes Oracle cards here. And so it's suggesting that things can turn out just fine. You know, you will just have to trust your unique people skills, power of communication, and also your problem solving skills and your ability to be adaptable. Okay. We have the Knight of Swords card here aligning with the Aquarius full moon in your eighth house of mutual assets, mysticism, and transformation while the death card follows here at the center of your reading, right? And it's also correlated with the eighth house and Pluto. And so right away, there is something here about shocking truths or contending with truths endings or unexpected circumstances this month related to love, uh, learning, and work, and even uh, daily routines and daily transportation, right? And uh, maybe being in a sort of grief or transformation process related to it, okay? But more specifically, it definitely indicates that the month is colored by how you respond to important and powerful deadlines, headlines, educational information and experiences, or insights, or partnership or shared group experiences, and just your day-to-day -day experiences, right? And how you are transformed by them or are forced to transform because of them, right? And we have the Ace of Cups as your overall energy and the Rainmaker as your spiritual lesson. And, you know, um, so the imagery and the symbolism here is all about how you maintain your cool, how you handle and adapt to change or any unexpected or unideal things, right? Well, there's also something here, right, about the creative, the conceptual or conception and gestational process, right? And the transformation that occurs around you and inside you, okay? And there's a particular aspect that's pretty important for the collective this month. Um, we have the North Node and Eris conjunct in Aries in your 10th house, making a trine to Lilith and Venus retrograde in Leo in your second house and also um, the galactic center in your sixth house, right? This aspect really gives support to making empowered, deep, transformative decisions in career, 
finance and coworker affairs, or being able to successfully lead and adapt when faced with change and circumstances that include endings, that include new beginnings, or that include losses or what feels like losses, right? This transit indicates being tested in terms of demonstrating your values and beliefs, and sort of putting your money where your mouth is, right? And sort of acting in alignment with your beliefs in a professional setting or the circumstances that you're faced with this month. It's really about sort of rising to the occasion as an emotionally intelligent leader or person who sort of equalizes or, or balances power dynamics. This is also a really powerful sort of aspect for investing in your personal health or even in health and beauty items or procedures. Um, or, you know, having someone invest in your business if it is related to this industry. Um, and because the North Node is activated here, it definitely indicates this question about how events that may include women art, taboo subjects, um, wellness and spirituality, or bosses, or a creative venture and public opinion, how these things affect your future success and how your own actions will affect your future um, related to circumstances that might involve any or all of these things, right, in these themes. So, you know, Mars and Mercury is exalted in Virgo all month, really helping you with mindfulness and efficient organization in daily routines, things related to travel, um, communication, writing, literary or sales and publishing projects, as well as making smart decisions in your life and any affairs, right? And then um, if you look at the spread here, we do have the star card reverse and then the sun card here um, right next to the eight of cups okay and this is absolutely about how um, you will find clarity and some positive resolve related to certain um, circumstances or being able to make a smart decision related to certain things this month right this these two cards in particular, the star card reverse and the sun, are also related to, um, you know, this new moon in Leo that happens around the middle of the month, right? Where it's about um, shocking or, or even powerful um, truths being revealed um, or you having insights, right? Things that affect people you care about, um, and that are maybe about people you care about or people that you looked up to, um, maybe some unmet expectations or even certain things that exceed your expectations. This could also be about you finally revealing or releasing something into the world um, based on some sort of creative or entrepreneurial ventures. Um, again, you finding some truth to something um, that could be really powerful and beneficial for you. This could also be the announcement of a pregnancy for others who are about at the two to three month mark where you can't hide it anymore. Um, this could be you or someone in your life. I've been getting pregnancy buzz for, for you all, for the Cancer Collective for like a minute, right? <laughs> um, I'm also literally hearing a baby talk outside of my window, right? Um, then we also have uh, for external or unknown or unforeseen circumstances, we have the Eight of Cups card here. And so this is about maybe finding a replacement for a position, a task, or a team. Um, this could be related to around the... Uh, mid to the end of the month where maybe you are wrapping up a trip and leaving some sort of group experience behind and coming away from it really transformed um, with some insight or feeling empowered in some way about how you will move forward in your life uh, in the future. This could also be coming to some sort of decision and making a big choice about something with your business or love partners, right? Um, 
again, there's this notion of professional and family planning and uh, making decisions that affects your happiness and your assets, right? And the assets being money, marriage, divorce, children, or things to deal with the home, okay? And so the spiritual lesson here is the rainmaker. And the outcomes, uh, we have the King of Cups and the Emperor Reverse for outcomes. And, you know, what sort of message is here for you related to results or outcomes or even a Pisces full moon message for you. And this could be about, you know, you finding happiness and support from a non-traditional relationship um, or thinking about gender identity and raising a child in this new climate. Um, this could be about a powerful, emotionally intelligent boss or colleague, or about what it means to be a really great leader and ally to communities, or be a really great emotionally intelligent boss or colleague to people who are different from you. Um, and again, I'm getting this message to, for some of you, this could be about finding a replacement or the perfect person for something. If you've been trying to make a decision about something, all right, but we're going to read the spiritual lesson, a uh, rainmaker card for you and also the outcomes card. Okay. And so, the rain maker is the master of manifestation who can call on the elements of nature to serve the greater good. When the power to co-create is used with integrity, great beauty and benefit flow to all. When this power is used for personal gain only, everyone suffers. When the earth is parched, the rainmaker calls the waters from the heavens, and all that is dormant in the fields and in people's hearts springs to life again. All right, the rainmaker is calling you to create something new from the elements that are already in your life. Be sure you work with what is and not with what might be or could have been. The seeds that have been silently germinating in your heart will burst forth ready for the sunlight. Do not hold back. Put all your chips on the next roll of the divine dice. Okay, so that is so multi-layered and absolutely sort of fits in and relates to so many of the different circumstances and messages that I got from you all from the cards and the stars here. Um, and it relates to this message in the outcomes card. It says, this card asks you not to be too attached to a specific outcome. In any new situation, the possibilities are open-ended. Anything might happen. Try not to prescribe a fixed outcome within your mind, as this may limit your availability to access the infinite scope of possibilities sent to guide you in the best possible direction. All right. Okay. And then we're going to wrap up your reading with your angel number message that came through for you all. And the angel number that came through for the Cancer Collective for August is 502. So 502 is this angel number that is a mix of the energetic and mystical messages of the number five, zero, and two. Five is about making life choices and important changes. Life lessons learned through experience, courage, adaptability, and versatility, motivation, and auspicious opportunities. And number zero is about the universal energies the beginning of a spiritual journey and the potential and our choices that may arise in your life. It's about developing spiritual aspects. It's about oneness and wholeness, cycles and flow and the beginning point. And this is a number that really amplifies the energies of the numbers that it appears with. And number two also sort of doubles this emphasis on adaptability, faith and trust. It's also about balance, harmony, service to others, diplomacy and mediation, partnerships and relationships, support and encouragement, and serving your soul mission. 502 is a message that it's time to make positive changes and let go of old ways of doing and being that are no longer positively serving you. Release old doubts, fears, and any perceived obstacles and look forward to wonderful new opportunities and adventures. 
as the changes you are facing will bring about new opportunities. And with hindsight, you will turn, they will turn out to be the answers to your prayers. Stay calm, balanced, and focused, and trust your intuitive messages and promptings. That absolutely corresponds with the fact that the star card reverse and the sun card here come up together, um, connected to this sort of mid-month mid point for you all that is absolutely about certain events, circumstances, and even truths and things that happen turning out to be answers to prayers, even though they may have come about due to sort of unideal or even unexpected circumstances and events, okay? All right, so back to this, it says, 502 suggests that changes you are making in your life are in line with your life purpose and soul mission. Have faith, trust that all will work out for your highest good. Know that the angels are overseeing current changes and ensuring that all transitions go smoothly for you maintain balance and equilibrium and go with the flow look upon changes as exciting opportunities to experience life and move forward on your path with passion purpose and confidence all right dear cancers so um definitely take a look or listen to the august astrology overview for additional spiritual and practical guidance for successfully navigating the month um because it definitely is focused on something related to group experiences and change and identity and transformation right um while it's also a great time to do a check-in with your venus saturn and capricorn and pluto and aquarius readings here on the channel while these planets are retrograde okay i definitely hope that this message aids your journey be sure to subscribe to the ua light youtube and the podcast like the youtube video leave some comments and a positive review of what resonates with you on the video and the podcast and share this insight with someone that you love Thanks for listening. Take good care of your hearts.